Hello beautiful family, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'll be sharing with you how to make your own curry powder at home. These are the ingredients that we'll be using. We have already processed them into powder. So I'll be showing you how I got to this point. I bought them in a seed form, washed them thoroughly, dehydrated them and then blend to powder. So follow me, let me show you how to do this. So I started with turmeric and ginger. I washed them very well with salt and brushed the back very well because I did not scrape out the back. So washed thoroughly with salt, then dehydrated them until they were very very dried. So on this video I will not be sharing each and every one of the ingredients on how I wash them so that this video will not be too long but just know that they were washed thoroughly with salt before dehydrating. When I was done dehydrating this was what I got. Here I have my coriander, mustard seed, cumin seed, fenugreek seed and fennel seed. Please, if I did not get the pronunciation very well, please pardon me. But these are the main ingredients that we'll be using for this curry powder. So I started by washing them thoroughly with salt, like I said earlier. It's time to spread them into the dehydrator tray. I spread them evenly and allow them to dry completely. So our next ingredients are black pepper, curry leaves, this is optional, then fresh pepper or any other type of pepper that you like. So here the whole ingredients have been dried, it's time to blend them into powder. So here is my turmeric powder, here is my ginger powder. I blended the turmeric before the ginger and the color affected the ginger. So I have my previous uh, already dried ginger powder. So I mixed everything together. The rest of the ingredients were blended into powder as well. I have to type and print out their names and pasted it on the cans so that they will be easily identified. When I was done blending all of them into powder, this was what I got. Rice powder is one of the ingredients, but I did not show the process in this video so that this video will not be long. But in my next video, I'll share with you how to make your own rice powder at home. Now it's time to mix the ingredients together. With a tablespoon, I added three tablespoons of turmeric powder. 2 tablespoons of coriander powder, 2 tablespoons of ginger powder, 2 tablespoons of rice powder. Then I went ahead to teaspoon, 1 teaspoon of sea salt, 1 teaspoon of black pepper powder, 1 teaspoon of cumin powder, 1 teaspoon of fenugreek powder, 1 teaspoon of mustard powder. The next ingredients will be with half teaspoon, but we're using my one quarter teaspoon because I can't find my half teaspoon. So it will be one quarter teaspoon times two. So half teaspoon of pepper powder, half teaspoon of fennel powder, half teaspoon of curry leaf powder. This is totally optional. But I was like, what is curry powder without curry leaf? When I was done adding the whole ingredients together, I mixed together and our curry powder is ready with no nonsense added so 
I went ahead to store in my foreign container. Then stored it in my countertop. You can keep in your fridge if you like, but I kept my own outside. So this is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.